You're about to learn in a very simple explanation the difference between 32 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of RAM. This past Black Friday, I couldn't help myself. There was a great deal on my favorite brand, which is MSI. And so I bought myself a high performance gaming laptop, the MSI Stealth 17.3 inch studio laptop. And in it is 32 gigabytes of RAM. And I'll explain to you why I personally chose 32 gigabytes of RAM and whether you need it if you're going to be purchasing a brand new laptop. So when it comes to RAM, which is random access memory, think of it as how big of an attention span your brain has, how well it can multitask. This is a great metaphor for what RAM is. With 32 gigabytes of RAM, you have twice the memory capability of 16 gigabytes, obviously. You also get better multitasking, smooth their performance during very complex tasks. Running a web development business and also being a content creator, I use a lot of different applications at the same time. Oftentimes, I'm editing photos on Photoshop. At the same time, I might be working on editing a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. While I'm doing that, I might also be using a CAD program for 3D rendering for certain clients. I do a lot of prototype design. I use Fusion 360. And so this demands a lot of tasks to be operating at the same time. Multitasking. If you are a multitasker that are using very high intensity applications or even games, 32 gigabytes of RAM is excellent for the gamers. And if your game today can can be run on just 16 gigabytes of RAM just fine, that's okay. But with 32 gigabytes of RAM, you're investing in the future because the future games, the future applications, they might need more of that memory capacity. And because you have 32 gigabytes of RAM, you'll be well equipped with your laptop to handle such demands. And so with that being said, if you're a high-end gamer, definitely go with 32 gigabytes. However, for just everyday tasks, 16 gigabytes of RAM is totally sufficient. I'll even give you a real life example. So this laptop, I use it as a desktop pretty much and I carry it everywhere. It's my main laptop. However, I have a carry laptop as well. So if I'm just doing a PowerPoint presentation somewhere or I'm on vacation, I don't want to take this really expensive machine with me. So I take a much more affordable laptop. It's also a gaming laptop, but the specs are much lower. That one actually has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it works just fine. It cost me like 650 or $850 somewhere in that ballpark and I'm good to go. And I don't even have to worry if my suitcase gets stolen or somebody you know damages my laptop or I drop it, leave it on top of my car, drive off, I'm only going to lose up to $600, $700. And that would be much more sad if I did that to this MSI laptop, which cost a lot more. This cost me almost two and a half grand this past weekend. So with that being said, the other thing that you should pay attention to is how important it is for the speed of your computer working very, very smoothly. Because even if your laptop can handle the 16 gigabytes of RAM functionality with all the apps, it'll still be running a lot smoother and faster if you had 32 gigabytes. So the one thing I want you to remember is performance, multitasking, if you're someone that has many, many tabs open in Google Chrome, when you do work and you do photo editing, video editing, or you like to play very high intensity games that require a lot of memory capacity, 32 gigabytes is what you should go for. If you're just fulfilling day-to-day -day tasks, you just need Microsoft Word and Excel and Google Docs and you're sending out emails and you need some PowerPoint stuff, you're totally fine getting away with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The last thing I want to mention is sometimes having higher specs in your machines, it just feels good. If you're a nerd like me and you love this type of stuff, especially if you're a working professional, this is kind of your studio laptop, fast, smooth operations, less crashing, and knowing that your laptop can handle using a lot of programs at the same time and it's got a lot of RAM and you have 
the finer things in life, it just feels good sometimes. It's like having that car that's V6, even if you're a really safe driver and you're fine with V4, it's just knowing that if you need to, you can gun it and woof, it's off to the races. So I hope you guys learned in an easy to understand manner the difference between 16 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I was surprised when I was talking to some people that they had no idea the difference between the two and I was gonna send them a very easy to understand video on YouTube, but I couldn't find one. So I said, you know what? When I get home this Sunday, I'm gonna create one and put it on the interwebs. I hope you guys appreciate this content and I will see you all in the next video.